Hey guys, okay, so today I have got a foundation video for you. I've got a little bit of concealer on this eye, so we're gonna have to test it out against this eye and of course all the other pigmentation and discoloration that I have on my skin. But today, we are going old school with the Revlon Color Stay 24 hour, is it, no, it's not 24 hour. Oh yeah, no it is, 24 hour wear, normal to dry foundation. And I have it in the shade 110, ooh, ivory. So, um. This is a foundation that, crazily enough, I have never tried. Um, I, I've never tried this one, actually. Not ever. And I certainly have never tried the one from Normal to Dry. Um, you guys, like, I'm going to be 40 on Monday. 40 years old on Monday. And I am going through some crazy hormonal changes right now. So my skin seems like it's less oily. And it's some of the makeup that I've been wearing is seeming a little bit, um, or it's seeming like it's making my skin look older, drier, more textured. So I decided to go ahead and go for the, I'll try the other one eventually, the combination skin one, but I decided, decided to go for the normal to dry one today because of all those crazy hormone changes and the fact that my skin is seeming less oily. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. Um, I'm sure everyone has heard of this. Um, Whoa, it is very runny. I'm gonna give this a pretty good shake real quick. It doesn't feel like, it sound like it's really shaking up. Um, it is, it looks like it's a tad bit on the pink side, but it's more neutral than it is orange, it looks like. I've got a sponge, but I have to say, um, I feel like if I pick this up with a sponge, it's just gonna soak the product up and not spread it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and apply it at first. That's probably too much, but, um, and then I'll go ahead and try a sponge first on this side. And may I just say that I have found so few foundations that I have liked over this year's, all this year's trials, and I've, I've tried so many, I've got I don't even know how many, in fact, because I, I put them all in a playlist if you're interested um, in their own categories. So I have all Revlon foundations in a playlist and then all uh, CoverGirl, Wet n Wild, that kind of thing. So if you are interested in knowing my thoughts, you can take a look at those playlists. All right, and I'm trying to be really careful with the foundation that I pumped out on my hand because it's so runny, it's certainly gonna drip on my clothes. I don't want that to happen. Hmm. All right, so this one actually seems like it looks not very heavy. There are a couple of places where I feel like it needs a little bit extra help. I just remember hearing like this one was the color stay um, foundation was just full coverage you know I'm not getting full coverage obviously I don't know if I put enough really right there on my nose I'm gonna take a little dab just see um, but yeah this one was supposed to be like full coverage but yet still look pretty natural on your skin and I would say at this point, it's looking pretty natural in this light. Um, I don't feel like it's looking all crusty and like makeup-y on my skin on this side. Shade looks okay. Um, and they had I feel like they had a lot of shades. So um, let's just go ahead and try this side with the brush and see if it's the coverage is any better. At this point, I'm not loving or hating it. It just seems fine. I have tried the um, Color Stay Whipped, um, and I used that for several years, actually. Um, I liked that one, but it was not a 24-hour wearing foundation on me, and I had very oily skin at the time, and my oil broke that foundation down pretty easily. Let's 
So, all right. All right, so you can kind of see this on the skin. Uh, well, on both sides, actually. Like, I'm looking right here, and I can see it. Yeah. Woo! Well, I just dropped my mirror. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I have to get my mirror angled just right in order to see sometimes. And, yeah, I don't know. This, at first, I was like, oh, not bad. But now I'm, the closer I look at it, it just, I don't know. I, I, I feel like there's no foundation that I can find that looks good on my skin. It's so hard. Um, again, the one, the only one that I found so far that I like and want to wear is the Wet n Wild one. That one has been the best by far. Um, it just looks so natural on your skin. The coverage is good. Um, the shade is perfect. Um, it just has been the best. And at this point, I would not say this one is better than the Wet n Wild, the, this coat. Uh, color stay one. So, um, I was expecting more Revlon. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'll give it its fair shot, wear it for the rest of the day. Um, I've got church tonight, so um, I'll be able to really, you know, put it to, to the test in a um, situation that's, to me, it's similar in my life that it's similar to like a work environment um, because I have to wrangle my little four-year-old son uh, while we're having church. So um, he's autistic and he sits with me and I have to try and keep him quiet and stuff during the service. But anyway, um, so um, yeah, so I'll wear it for the rest of the night and I will update my thoughts in the description box or the comments or whichever I get to first. And um what I was gonna say. Oh, let me see. This was um, $12.99 at Ulta. Now I got it for $10.01 because it was a buy one get one 50% off. So you can find these uh, deals at Ulta quite a bit. They have sales all the time. So um, if you're interested in this foundation, I would get it when it's on sale, of course. Um, it's probably less expensive at just Walmart right off the bat. So that's something to think about. Um, but at this point, as a first impression, it's not looking great. And I've tried two different method methods of application. And for the most part, if I don't like a foundation, especially a foundation in, well, just about anything, in fact, in a first impression, then I probably just won't like it, especially when the problems with it are it looks obvious on the skin and it's not blending in well. And because I'm the kind of girl that I want the makeup to work without a lot of effort. Um, I don't know how many people spend an hour each morning before they go to work with 35 steps to get their foundation to look good. If you're one of those people, then, you know, more power to you and you probably don't care about what I have to say. <laughs> but I'm not going to, you know, have like... Um, Sorry, there's someone behind me. I'm not going to um, have 30 setting sprays to make it look nice. I just really don't care that much. Um, you know, if I was going to do something like that, I would want it to replace a step that I already do so I don't have to add another step. You see what I'm saying? So um, I want a foundation to look good first time, quickly, easily, especially. I know there are foundations out there that can do that, like the... Wet n Wild. So the Wet n Wild doesn't last as long as I would like it to, so that's something to think about as well. Um, so anyway, again, I will give this its fair shot, wear it for the rest of the day, and I will update my thoughts in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!